Now the latest on the Syrian gas attack. Syria has asked the United Nations to take action against the rebels. The government of Syria said that it urged the United Nations Security Council to immediately and strongly condemn the terrorist crimes. It also urged the world body to take deterrent punitive measures against the nations and regimes that support and fund terrorism. Remember, the Syrian government has accused the rebels of wounding over 100 people in Aleppo. In what it claims is a toxic gas attack, the Syrian state media claim that the shells spread a strong stench and caused breathing problems for dozens of people. The state media showed ambulances bringing masked people to hospitals. There were also images showing people being treated inside an emergency room with serious illnesses. Meanwhile, French President Emmanuel Macron said that he did not have clear information about the gas attack. He said that those with evidence of the attack should present it to the organization for the prohibition of for chemical weapons. We don't have clear and sufficient information to comment, especially this information um, broadcasted and transmitted by Russia. Obviously, I want to reiterate here that France does condemn the use of chemical weapons, whatever uh, the users are, and um, I wish that those who disclose this information and the potential use of chemical weapons could share all the information and transfer all this information, especially to the international agency in The Hague uh, in order to be absolutely sure that we identify the use of chemical weapons and can attribute it. The rebels, meanwhile, have denied carrying out any chemical strike. The rebels claim that the allegations of a chemical attack are a pretext for an attack on the opposition-held areas. Russians claim that uh, they launched strikes on some rebel-held regions. It said that all targets have been destroyed. However, there have been, uh, there's been no word on any casualties reported so far.